Scott and Lisa, we have seen so much community support throughout the past week for Detective Gilmartin, and it just keeps coming from the Scranton area and beyond. In Wilkes-Barre, Gilmartin's former teachers and classmates at Holy Redeemer are making sure today's students know the impact he had on the school before he became a police officer. <laughs> Flipping through a Holy Redeemer yearbook from 2008, you'll find lots of photos of Kyle Gilmartin from his senior year. Maureen Janowski was his math teacher. My first thought was, did I teach him? And then I'm like, they said Gil Martin. And then when they said Kyle, I'm like, oh my gosh, I did teach him. And I remember he was tall and he had dark hair and he was very outgoing and he was a good student and he participated in class and, th and then my heart broke. Gil Martin graduated from the school in Wilkes-Barre in 2008. Classmate Marcus Krasinski now teaches social studies at Holy Redeemer. That was a unique year because all the schools were combining, so it was the first year that Redeemer actually formed. Um, nobody really knew one another aside from who you went to school with before, but Kyle was somebody who was approachable. He talked to everybody, uh, very friendly. To show their solidarity, students wore blue. Teachers say even though many of these students never met Detective Gilmartin, they all stepped up to show their support for their fellow royal. Not just wearing blue, but the donations they brought in for him, the well wishes, the prayers, uh, it's overwhelming and I hope that his family knows that we, we have his back. I say he was sitting in the seats where you were sitting. He was one of yours, you know, let's keep him and his family in our prayers. In just two days, Holy Redeemer in Wilkes-Barre was able to raise $3,500 for Detective Gilmartin and his family, and the whole school community is wishing him a speedy recovery.